Look at this other one, dying. This is dying as well. Look at the size of this, right? So this is the potential of the place. It can sustain a vegetation of this uh, magnitude. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. What is up YouTube? Welcome to the Agroforestry Academy channel. Today I came for a walk and I was observing the vegetation as I usually do. And I decided to make a video to you talking a bit a bit about how to read the potential of the place. Because what often happens is that most people look at this kind of vegetation here, for example. They think this is the natural state of, of the place, right? This, they think this is the, the native vegetation and it, it's always been like this. It will always be like this. But that's not the case. And once you understand the species that grow in the place, w once you, you know the species that are growing and you see them in other situations and you understand the processes of degradation that might have happened in a given place, such as fire, uh, excessive grazing and uh, erosion and everything, you start seeing things a lot more in a different way. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that are, are going on here so that you get an idea of what I'm saying. So first thing that we have to understand in this situation specifically, the soil is pretty bad. Let's take a look. You don't need to be very smart to know that, uh, you know, there's a bunch of small rocks. There's not much soil here. It's definitely not the kind of place you would choose to do agriculture if you had other options. So this is one thing that we have to bear in mind. Now, when I look around there, there's a bunch of short-lived plants. This one is called Asapishi. It's from the family Asteraceae. It's a shrub that will live like two years in a healthy system. This one is called Lobeta. It's a Solanaceae. It should live for about two years in a healthy system and then it should die. Now, as I go around, I start seeing other species which are more long living and don't really belong in an open field. For example, this one is called Pauterrinha. It grows to a big tree and uh, it belongs in a more more of a forest uh, type of vegetation. What, why is it growing here? There's another one here. This one is called, uh, well, the scientific name is Pera Glabrata. I think that's it. And it's, uh, it's a secondary species. It, it's usually it usually grows in the transition from a more open field to a forest. There's another one. This one, this is a green trumpet tree. I don't know if you guys know, but the trumpet tree is Brazil's national tree. It's, it's a beautiful tree when it's flowering. And there are, it, there are dozens of species. There are purple ones, pink ones, yellow ones, white ones, and then there's the green one which has green flowers, so it's very hard to see when they're flowering. This one isn't. As you can see, the, the pods are already here. This tree grows to 30, 40 meters tall, and it's, it gets a trunk this huge. It can take up to two people to go around the trunk. This does not belong in an open field. Okay, this is a tree 
from the forest. There's another one here. This is another green trumpet tree. There is a... This one here is called Sucupira, right? This is also a pretty big tree, hardwood. Very good for, very good for, for fencing poles. Very strong, it will last a couple of lifetimes. And the other one I wanna show is this one. Okay, this here. This is Chiflera Morototoni. This is the emergent species of the, the forest close to usually close to riverbeds, but there's no riverbed here and it's still, still it's grown. I'm gonna show you a big one of these uh, in a bit. So, uh, looking at all, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> looking at all, all of these trees, I can only think, okay, this place has the potential to sustain a forest. So why is there no forest here? And the answer to me is quite simple. This is, I'm inside a farm. If you look a bit farther away, you can see the forest right here. Of course, it's in a valley because the valley is less prone to degradation. It's usually fertile, more fertile than, than the, these little mounds. So it's not that there was never a forest here. It's just that if you deforest a place in the valley and you abandon it the forest is going to come back very quickly if you deforest a place in a less uh how do you say it? In, in, a, in a less abundant place by nature because if, you, if you're in a mound it's just there's just more nutrient loss more water loss more soil loss it takes longer for the vegetation to come back and if you do it enough, if you, if you cut back the vegetation enough, if you put fire on it for long enough, if you graze cattle in a poor, using a poor uh, system, you will, the, the system is going to reach a point where it cannot return to its previous state anymore. It's like if you keep hurting your arm or your leg or your skin or whatever it is, your body can can uh, recover itself. But uh, if you keep on doing it, there's going to come a point where it cannot go back to a previous state without external help. So this is a place that needs external help. Look at the situation of the the road here, the amount of soil being lost. So whenever you're walking around a vegetation, you gotta look for signs of what it could have once been. And we see that in the species around us. Because they, they show the potential of what could have once been. And so, and this this gives gives me hope actually because it's a uh, it's something that makes me certain that most places I've been to they can be recovered to a to an abundant state. I would still never choose this place to grow crops if I have a better soil, but but it's possible. You know, even in such a place, you can return it to a better state of, uh, of resources availability you can increase the soil you can produce new soil and you can have you can have production you can have agricultural production here no doubt and the way to do it is through agroforestry of course use the, the use the resources already available here to feed back into the system bring more species more uh you know species that can thrive in this sort of poor condition bring some soil amendments give a bit of a kick start to the system so that you get a process of enriching enrichment going look at this place look at the size of the trees just because 
I came to a place that where there's a bit of a, a depression here. So I was there up in the mount. It's like, I don't know, like three meters of, of uh, difference in, in altitude. Suddenly I've got a bunch more uh, big trees. The soil changed a bit. You can't see the rocks anymore. They are here. But of course the clay from the from up the mount has all been washed down to this part because it's the lowest part. So you have clay accumulation and nutrients accumulation. And suddenly you've got a more a lush vegetation. This you can see the place is pretty degraded as well. I mean even the pasture, look at the state of the pasture. But there's some pretty big trees around which are dying. As you can see, like these last two, this is a jiku. It's a species of legume. Let me show you the size of this baby. All right, so there you go. This is 15 meters tall. Look at this other one. Look at this buddy. Pretty, pretty large tree. Look at this other one, dying. This is dying. Oh. Look at the size of this, right? So this is the potential of the place. It can sustain a vegetation of this uh, magnitude. The problem is that the constant degradation takes the system to a place where it's unable to grow anymore. So, you know, guys, this is just a, uh, I just wanted to show you this because one of the most important things in agroforestry, in regenerative farming, is to be able to read the places where you work, especially if you're a consultant and you're doing work with, a, you know, for other, you're traveling around a lot, going to different places. You need to get to a place and look at the vegetation and understand what's going on there. And if there's potential for the place or not, some places, they don't have much potential. But most of the places do and then depend, depending on the state that the system is you can choose to start with less demanding crops or start with more demanding crops look this is another almost dead tree it, it does lose its leaves during the drought but we're not in the drought we're in the middle of the rainy season and it's dying it's unable to to thrive in this sort of condition so now we get we get a less demanding species you know this shrub that I showed you before you can see that in a system that doesn't have so much abundant resources there's too much wood for too little too few leaves you can see the vegetation gets drier whereas in in a more abundant system the vegetation is more lush there's more green in relation to the amount of wood so every place can be enriched every place can sustain a more abundant life as long as we stop the degradation cycle and start working more intelligently so I'm going to show you the that tree that I told you about, Chifleira Morototoni, which is one of the trees growing up there in the mount. I'm going to show you uh, an adult individual. All right, so check it out. This is the adult of that species I told you about. That one is close to 20 meters tall. So, you know, look around you know don't take that bullshit of uh, the, this vegetation has always been like this this is doesn't make any sense nature is always changing and you know that most places in the world have been degraded to a trepid state so let's work to bring back some of that abundance so I hope you enjoyed this if you've got any doubts leave them in the comment if you're new to the channel, check out our full agroforestry course. Here's a card. And if you want to support us, join us in Patreon. You, 
you're gonna get access to some extra goodies and it's you it's gonna go a long way to help us out uh, to keep bringing you this awesome content and just to finish guys take a look at the moon over here yeah that's pretty nice and with that frame I'm Felipe for the Agroforce Academy and I'm signing out.